So uh, they're not inspired. Only inspired young male, female. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, for whatsoever reason. And when we started Afro Caribbean, the newspaper, we realized that when you look through metro newspaper, you look through many of the mainstream news. There's, there's a, you know, they, they kind of try to represent everybody, but sometimes a young black man will be a little bit different because, I mean, skin color is very different. Yes. And so we try to bring something that is interesting, positive, progressive, and try to put them into something to, 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 to just to give, you know, some something to those that feel that will make them feel a little bit better. Right. So what would you say to someone that is uninspired? Um, they feel the system is not really made for them, or they don't have people around them to, to see as, as something to, to look up to. Or some, some people say the education system doesn't produce that much, as much black people doing very well in school. I don't know how, I don't have the figures to, 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 to say if that's true or not. But what would you say to such a person that just needs something to get, like, like a boost, let me put it that way? Well, first of all, you can be whatever you want to be in this, in this world, in this province, in this city. It's, I had to, I had to struggle. I mean, I had to go through tough times and, and, and bad times, but a lot of good times as well. And um, nobody owes you anything, but you owe yourself to go and, 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 and do that. Now, if you need help, I'd be more than happy to talk to somebody about how you can do that. But you can't. I mean, it's easy just to say, oh, it's too hard, I'm not going to do it. But go read a book about Martin Luther King and um, see his struggles, I mean, true struggles. And um, look, at, look, at, look at our history. In 1954, you couldn't even vote as a black person in Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we take a lot of these things today for granted. And it's tough, but it's nothing. And these people became doctors and, and lawyers and business people and teachers through all those days, too.